Welcome, and for now is a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 and today I will show you how to enable and set up the do not disturb mode. And to get started pull down your notification panel and look for the do not disturb mode which for me is on the second page right over here. Once you find it, you can turn it on by tapping on it and it will then accept whatever the default parameters are which you can see them right here or you can hold it which will take you to the settings which is what I also did. And you can then customize your settings. Now we have exceptions as an example right here uh, you can select who can call us who can message us uh, conversation options uh, additionally for calls we do have a repeated color so if someone calls twice within a 15 minute period uh, and you have this enabled uh, they will completely bypass whatever you have selected right here now as you can see right now it's none but if they meet this requirement they will basically reach us without any problem so this is a fairly decent option for emergencies so people can actually get a hold of you and you can actually be aware of whatever the emergency is. Now going back we have also alarms and sounds so you can select what kind of alarms and sounds will be able to uh, go through uh, when the do not disturb mode is enabled. Also what kind of apps will give you notifications uh, and additionally what notifications will appear and how they will appear. And lastly we have a schedule which simply allows you to set up a schedule for it so each day of the week that you want it to run during and start and end time. And lastly, for how long, this is when you tap on the toggle from the notification panel. When you tap on it, uh, by default, it will be turned on until you turn it off. You can also change it to be a specific amount of hours. So we can set it up here. Now, whatever you set it up, however many hours you set it up here, that's how many hours it will always run when you click on it. And lastly, we have the ask every time, which basically brings up the two options whenever you try to turn it on. So once you set it all up, let's go to the toggle itself, click on it. And because I chose ask every time, I can now select. Additionally, I can choose the hours right here, turn on, and there we go. It's now enabled. And once you're done with it, you can either turn it off yourself by tapping on it, or if you went with a timer, you can also wait for it to turn off. Uh, but even though it's on a timer, you can still turn it on manually. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.